Hi guys, my name is Joe and I'm a security analyst here at Nowcom. Uh, and what we want to show you today is a hack that's going around to do with the Microsoft Print Spooler vulnerability. Um, if cybersecurity is something you are worried about, then please do get in contact with us here at Nowcom by going to nowcom.com. Anyway, what we want to show you today is how quick and easy it is for hackers to get into your prize systems with just a little bit of computer knowledge. So what I'm going to do now is pass you over to my colleague Ryan, who's going to demo this for us now. So today we are going to be demonstrating the Print Nightmare vulnerability. Here we have a Kali Linux box on the left where we will be running the exploit from and on the right we have our Windows 2016 server which is going to be exploited. This attack can only happen if a threat actor has access to the network with user credentials. These credentials do not need to be for an admin account. As you can see there is a user here called Bruce Wayne. User credentials could be harvested from the dark web or potentially a disgruntled employee could be using their own. Here I'm going to show you the spooler directory where the malicious DLL file we will be creating is going to be placed. Notice there is no reverse shell.dll already listed. So now we will create the DLL file using MSF Venom. The host is the Kali box it will run from with the .50 IP address and we will be listening on port 9001, placing the created DLL file in the SMB folder that we've created. Next, we will use Impacket for our SMB server. Here you can see the reverse shell.dll which we have created is in the SMB directory. Now we will set up our listener using 9001 as the port to listen on. So these are set up now. I will go ahead and enter the CVE 20211675 folder which contains the Python script. Using Python 3 we will execute the Python script to place the malicious file we created in the spooler directory on the Windows box. So we use the FQDN of the target device, username and password of the user and the target's IP address. We then state the location of the malicious DLL starting with our host IP address. We can see the SMB server kicking in and on the listener we are now connected to a Windows device. If we do a who am I, we can see that we are NT authority slash system which is the most powerful account on a Windows instance. Now we have full authority over this Windows server, we can create users or delete users, add files and pretty much do anything that we please. For example sake, we will place a txt file on the administrator's desktop. We can also see that our reverse shell.dll file is in the spooler directory. If you found this demo interesting, we would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and give this video a like. If you or your company are looking for cybersecurity solutions, then please visit our website at nowcom.com, select Now Secure, and you can request a meeting with our expert technical staff.